The school committee narrowed down the search to fill the principal position at Elmwood School after former principal David Youngberg left to take a position in the school administration central office last September. The two candidates include Kathleen Gerber, who is currently working in the Franklin School System, and current interim principal Ann Carver. The school committee hosted a public question and answer session with the candidates in the Elmwood Library. I began my career 27 years ago in Maryland as a speech language pathologist. I've taught in Maryland schools, Texas schools, and Arkansas schools before being transferred to Massachusetts. I began my career here in Franklin and uh, as, a special, as a speech language pathologist. I uh, shifted to a team chair head teacher model and then three years ago I became assistant principal in Franklin. All right, terrific. Uh, what got you interested in the Elmwood job? The Elmwood job was very appealing to me because it was a 2-3 building. Um, I love second and third grade curriculum. It also, I was reading the school improvement plan and things that teachers were working on and the response to intervention process speaks near and dear to my heart. Uh, how do we differentiate instruction to make children successful? And also I've been working with writing trajectories and being able to talk about uh, essential questions and that seemed to align with your school improvement plan. Excellent. And uh, can you talk about some of, some of your goals if uh, you get the position? Sure. My goal at first would be to come in and get to know the community because change without knowing where you are and where your vision is is never a good thing. So and my goal would be to work collaboratively to facilitate the change uh, and to do what's best for students in school. So how do we improve our writing practice? How do we improve our math practices and our ELA practices? Uh, I grew up in Holden. Uh, I have three siblings and I've known that I wanted to be a teacher since I was a very little girl. My mom talked about it quite a bit as I was growing up, that she always knew I'd be a teacher. And I didn't disappoint her or myself. I followed my dream, went to Wheelock College in Boston, where I got an, an undergrad degree as an, in, an, in early childhood. From, right from, straight from college, I started working as an elementary school teacher in Worcester where I hate to say how many years I taught school, but I did teach in Worcester for 26 years. I taught kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and third grade. Uh, as you may know, Worcester is a, is a pretty big school system, and so I had the opportunity to move around to several different schools. When you work in an environment like that, you don't have to keep reapplying for a position, but you can kind of bid for, I'd love to teach a second grade in this neighborhood, or I, I see that there's an opening in, in, in this school, so I was fortunate to be at three or four incredibly high functioning and wonderful schools where I learned a great deal. As I finished my career in teaching, um, I, I had, had been encouraged to take on some leadership roles within the school and then decided to get my, I had a master's in education, but decided to get a second master's in leadership and administration. And so I was teaching right up until the time that I took on the role here at Elmwood School as assistant principal. I left Worcester loving my work as an educator and loving being in a classroom I didn't have a I didn't have an experience that said get out you know get out of the classroom get out of the city um, I loved every day that I was there and was offered an opportunity to come to Hopkinton which uh, leaving Worcester is kind of rare for Worcester teachers and administrators folks tend to stay for an entire career so coming here uh, was a wonderful opportunity for me and I was the assistant principal with David Youngberg for two years. I started my third year this this fall and um, about the end of the first month was offered the position as interim. So I've been at it a, a little over three months and in that time I have uh, been interim. I've learned a whole lot more about Elmwood School and about being a leader and, and I've loved every minute of it.